So you want to be able to improvise. It's not actually my voice. Hello, welcome to Drum for Jesus. <laughs> Did you know that rudiments and stickings are the key to improvisation? It's true. 100% true. The more stickings you know, the more rudiments you know, the more you can do on the drums. Period. It's like, hey, yeah, okay, I'm learning a flam. Cool. Flam, 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 flam. Great. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. Okay, I'm bored out of my mind. Five star roll. Bit it up, bit it up, bit it up, bit it up. Okay. This is really, this is really lame. When do I get to play the drums? Okay. Let's start by just applying. Let's start with the flam. Okay. Flam. Cool. Really sweet. Kind of. I mean, yeah, really nice. But what else can you do with it? There you go. That's more interesting than... Is it not? Don't tell me it's not. I know it is because I live on planet Earth, and we're all similar-ish. You know what I mean? Okay, flam taps. All right. Eh. What if the tap becomes your kick drum? Whoa, bro. It's totally rad. Yeah, it's pretty cool. No, it's, it really is. <laughs> All we've talked about are flans and flam taps, but now I've replaced the tap with the kick drum. What if instead of the flam tap being an eighth note, one and, one and, what if it's a 16th note? One E, one E. And then you go one E, a 2E, a flam E. Whoa, bro. You took a flam tap and modified it and then put a kick drum before. But okay, let's simplify. Let's simplify. Just one E. And we don't always have to go around the kick down like that. How else can we apply a flam tap? Oh, it's always nice to be able to go up the kit. Oh, did you say I combined the two? One E, two E, one and two and three and four and three and four and I know I was in two four. I apologize. It's my bad. It's my bad. There we go. Okay. Here's a very common sticking that you can use in a gazillion ways. Right, left, left. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. I mean, that should be obvious. I mean, cool, but what if you're in four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. Or one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Every third sixteenth note. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. Because one two three one two three one two three one two three one two one two one is sixteen beats. Four threes is twelve. Two twos is four. Four plus four, sixteen. Da da da! Yeah. Okay. Threes. How else can you apply those? Uh, so many ways. 
Let's do it with a flam. So instead of right, left, left, same concept, flam, kick, kick. Ha, glatum. You know that one. <laughs> One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Every third 16th note being flamped. The kick's filling in the other 16th notes. That's what happened there. Instead of flaming just on the snare, you can move the flam up to the toms. Like, there's, there's so many ways to apply these things, right? Just think of ways. You can... All right, I'm a 6'8 now. Let me do a more realistic example. Let's say you're swinging. That's kicking instead of right, left, left. It's right and kick at the same time, left, left. Different than this. But it's the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a, it's a completely different feel. And this is a completely different feel. Okay. Did you know that all odd time signatures can be broken down into threes and twos? Let's say you want to play in seven. You could go one, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. That's seven. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, 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 one, two, three, one. One two one two one two three 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 one two one two one two one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two Okay. Now let's apply that to stickings. Let's say we could then we could flip that around. One two one two one two three. That's seven, right? So if we're here, let's go, let's go. Ah. Yeah, how about here? Huh? Da, uh, uh, uh. I'll do this. Now I was trying to make it obvious where the pulse was by filling in eighth notes on the kick. You can play groups of five sixteenths notes, right? One, two, one, two, three. 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 So just think about it like this. Think about the sixteenth note grid. You can phrase things in threes and twos. Like we said, that could be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. If you want to phrase it in fives, you can go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. We have ten so far. We need Six more to get to sixteen. Sixteenth notes, right? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. 
Alright. It's a way that you can get some fives in there. Sevens. We can go up to 14 and add two. So we could go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Cool. Uh, and then you can phrase the sevens differently. You could go, we were just going one, two, one, two, one, two, three. We can go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, right? Like, this is the way you have to start thinking. They're not just rudiments. They're not just stickings. It's like, how do you apply them musically? And I'm, I'm using very simple applications. But once you get these ideas down, you can really start mixing and mashing them in much more subtle ways. I think one of the best ways to use rudiments is not to use, or stickings, is not necessarily to use them repetitively. You know, it's nice to be able to go... Like, great, but what can be much more subtle is if you're just grooving along and you just put one thing in seven and then you're on to something else, you know? Did you catch it? There was one grouping of seven in there. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. All right, I'll play something else. I'll let's put, let's try to put two groupings of five into the fill at some point. I did sevens. So in each fill, there was two groups of fives snuck in there, right? More musical, more subtle, uh, instead of just like, cool, like good to be able to do because you want to be able to hear it. You want to know where you're at, but then it's like, okay, once you get past the exercise, let's start applying it musically. Let's start thinking more in fragments and letting these things come out in fragments. Um, yeah. So let's think of another rudiment. Ah, five stroke rolls. I use these all the time because for that exact reason. That's a six stroke roll technically, right? You're supposed to alternate sticking. I, uh, maybe not on the six. I forget. Whatever. And then how can we think about those differently? Replace the kick instead of that right to finish it off. There's something. There's some ways to do fives. Five stroke rolls. Five stroke rolls. Uh, I mean, you can learn them on the double kick. This is pretty high level, but I'm just trying to give you some ideas 
where you can think about ways, okay, how can I apply this stuff more musically? Do I replace one of the hands with a foot? Do I, you know, do I move it up the kit? Do I move it down the kit? Do I go from one voice to another? Can I do something between the snare and the cymbals? Can I double up with my hand and the kick? That can work great with like three note stickings and two note stickings when you're combining them too. We'll leave it there. I hope this was helpful. Check out Hope Bloom on Spotify. If you're enjoying these lessons, you're going to enjoy what I play and you're going to enjoy learning the drum parts for these songs. They're a lot of fun. There's a lot of really cool drum parts on those songs. Those songs are a lot of fun to play with. I'm a drummer. I like doing crazy drum stuff. Crazy drum stuff is fun. Go check out Hope Bloom on Spotify. And as always, drum for Jesus.